Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm in a different location today. I'm actually in the car and I've got about half an hour in here on my own now. It's 8, 20 past 8 on a Sunday morning so I'm like really tired and there's no one around. But I thought while I'm sat here I'm just going to film a little chatty video because I've got my camera and stuff. So basically I've just got all of my makeup here because I was too tired to eat all of the house. And then I'm just going to have a talk about exams and stuff in general while I do it because I feel like because exams start tomorrow as I'm filming this it's like a topic that's quite relevant to the moment and yeah without further ado I'm just going to get straight into it. So this is probably going to be a little extra upload which I'm going to put up on like Monday or Tuesday because it shouldn't take me too long to edit. I was taking my Mac for a long work and sealer and there's people driving past which looks like it, it's on top of myself and I hope I don't get copyrighted because of the music in the background. Maybe I should turn that off. So basically I know that a lot of you watching this will probably have like GCSEs and stuff coming up in the next like few days and weeks and I was in the same position as what you are now this time last year. So basically teachers make out like oh it is the most important thing you're ever going to do in your life but quite frankly it isn't because people do fail their exams and they still get fired in life so it isn't like the be all and end all. We're not all academic and I'm sure you've heard loads of people say that but it is the truth and I know like I'm not the person to say you're going to get dead fire without them because I did get 10 GCSEs but there were a lot that I was quite well like possibly going to fail so I'm not exactly like oh I've got 10 A stars talking to you do you know what I mean? But the pressure they put on you is just ridiculous because it's like you were whatever 16 years old if you're doing your science you might even be like 14, 15 because I was only 14 when I did mine and it's like you just want to live a bit and you can't because all the time it's like revise, do this homework, do that homework, do the other homework and it's just so stupid. Now taking my naked skin concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. They're just literally all so stupid basically. You might now like, I, I think that when you're picking your six farm options if that's what you're like going to do next year or you're picking what degree you want to do whatever and you need certain grades then yeah obviously you try and aim for them but don't put too much pressure on yourself if you're not going to be able to do that because like you might still get on the course like I needed a B in English to go do business at A level and then I got a C but they still let me on the course they just put me on like a trial thing and they let's see how you get on and if you don't like it then you can drop it which to be honest now I'm like a year in I wish I had dropped it but I didn't so too late now but I would do anything to drop it I hate it so much so when it comes to like revising and stuff just kind of do a little bit but don't stress yourself out with it because it's not worth it quite frankly like I did quite a bit of revision this time last year and then I ended up getting ill because of it and I was ill for most of my exams which probably affected how well I did and perhaps if I hadn't have done all that then I would have been well and I might have ended up with better results because the ones I was well for I got what I was supposed to get and then like ones I was ill for I didn't do as well in. And also like I'm just going to use the um, Maybelline New York Matte Maker Powder in Tent Ivory. But when you're like saying oh I want to come out with this grade just don't put the pressure on yourself like oh I need this A or whatever just go in and be like I'm just going to try my best I'm going to try and pass it and if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't because that's how it will work best because like everyone used to ask me how do I not stress out about exams but I just go in like I just want to pass it. I'm not bothered about getting like a B or anything. Just like do the best I can and that's all that matters and some of them I was like if I fail it, I fail it like English lit and stuff because I just could not do it. I feel like that's the best way to be because you'll be much calmer and then like it come around to the first exam and I feel like if in year 10 you did um, core science or something like some sort of real exam it makes it a lot easier because you kind of know what to expect in year 11 whereas the people who've never done an exam before and only mocks it's like a shock because of how serious it's took I guess I'm just going to quickly do my brows because I can't talk and do that basically 
So to do my brows, I just use the Freedom Brow Pomade in blonde. The camera's moved a bit. There we go. Yeah, just kind of go into it and be like, I'm going to try my best. As long as you come out of that exam, like, I tried my hardest and that's that. Like, and if you don't do great in it, that's fine. And at the end of the day, it's not like, I don't know with the new GCSE thing if this is still the case. But for me, it was like, I failed two of my sciences and um, one of my English lips and then I was a mark off failing my actual English language exam because I was really ill on the day. I'd been like throwing up before I went in since four o'clock so I'm lucky I managed to actually sit the exam to be honest but because of the coursework it pulled me up and it meant that I still got a C so you've got to remember that you've got that kind of on site to help you if you've done okay in it. I'm just using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And if you are somebody who like panics about exams, I know it can be like hard to get in there, but once you've been in and done the first one and like seen what it's like, it is a lot, lot easier because after that, every single one is just the same routine. And especially if you've got like study leave, it's even better because you're just going in for the exam. Whereas I didn't get that until like wit half term, so. I was still in school for a few of them, which was a lot harder. And if you do get study leave, do try and study, but to be honest, I went out shopping a lot and I had my birthday on study leave and stuff, so, well, I quite frankly didn't really use it. I was supposed to use it, but you should try and, but to be honest, we weren't even studying like in lesson anyway, because everyone was just messing about and everyone wanted to leave and it was just that point of the year where it was like, Mm. I don't know if this video will ever make it to the internet because I just feel like I'm talking a load of rubbish. I'm actually using the Naked 2 palette. Why is someone coming to part next to me? This is not fair. Oh, I hate when people do this. And things like a maths exam, just try and attempt every question. Even if you've got no idea what the hell you're doing because that's what I did and on some of them. I ended up actually getting the marks because I kind of went right a bit I got one or two marks so it's definitely worth like trying it because if I hadn't done that I probably wouldn't have ended up I would have ended up like a C it worked for me you do try and make sure you like bring your own equipment and stuff because there's nothing worse than having a calculator with something you're not familiar with because that's just gonna like make it so much harder and it's gonna waste time for you to figure it out and I feel sorry if you're doing English lit now because obviously you've got to do like remember all the poems and everything because last year when I finished the exam I just sat and read the poetry book because I was literally that bored and then um, of mice and men but to be honest you can make up quotes I think in my opinion because I made up quotes which were roughly like what they were because I couldn't find them and I've still ended up passing it so surely you can do that I don't know but maybe don't do that if you want like an A or something but if you just want to see or like what is it a four or five i don't even know this new system but yeah so like i have my first real exam like my as on wednesday which is in health and social care that's on wednesday morning and quite frankly at this moment in time i'm not too bothered or worried about it because health and social is subject i really really enjoy and i wish i'd done it for like the extended diploma instead of just an a level because it's like my favourite subject but again for that it's like I've got to remember 15 diseases all the causes symptoms treatments and impacts and a lot of people are struggling with it but because I have a real interest in all that kind of stuff you can tell me symptoms of the thing once come like a hypochondria and I literally remember it so like for you when you're picking your options for your A levels or whatever try and pick like subjects which you'll find easy to remember because it'll make your life so much easier and if you're bad at exams just take B techs because like I took B tech IT and I'm getting distinctions which is an A but if I'd have done A level IT I would not be getting that. Basically you just gotta do what suits you and if you've got push pants and stuff you are like oh you need to get this grade or you need to take this subject just ignore it and do it for yourself because that's what's going to get you further, I promise you. And do whatever you do, don't like cram in revision the night before. The night before your exam, unless that's how you learn, obviously, just try and do nothing. Like, I would literally just sit and watch YouTube videos or something the night before that exam because if I did that, I'd end up stressing and then I won't sleep and then 
I do rubbish in the exam. Bring a bottle of water and if you're allowed sweets or something like that, bring them with you as well because they can help to like calm you down in the exam. I'm just using Maybelline the Falsies Push Up Angel which is like my new favourite mascara. You just need to remember like as soon as your exams are over you're going to get the best summer of your life because it's like you're literally going to be off for 12 weeks and honestly it was like the best 12 weeks of my life last year and I'd literally do anything to have that again this year. Like everyone's getting to leave for the AS exams and I'm not which is really annoying but I've only got one so I can't really complain. But I get like a week off for mocks which falls off my birthday so it means that when I come back from London I'll get a week off so that's quite exciting. And then if you do come out of an exam and you think like oh my god I've messed it up or whatever just try and forget about it because you're not getting your results to log so just try and forget about it until then and enjoy the time you've got because the summer will fly by so quickly and you're going to be like where did that go? It's sport you really me. If you don't get your results on results day that you wanted then you can just kind of take it from there and see what your options are I guess I mean I can't really speak from experience but it can't be the like the worst thing in the world there are options out there for everybody and you just got to do what suits you and again with revision try and do what works most efficiently for you because I only realized like a few weeks ago that the way I learn is for someone to read it out to me. If I, I could write out a revision guide all day or just read it and nothing would go in. So that, that'll help me now for future exams but I didn't know that this time last year. So you'll see like what works for you and then kind of go from there because that is how you will do best in your exams. This is probably going to be the longest video of my life I have ever filmed. Oh no. And I've lost my powder brush at home. Hmm. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'll use this one instead because this is kind of like a powder brush I guess. Just a little bit small. I'm just using the Mac Studio Fix. And I think the great thing is like how exams are split up because you'll have two weeks of them now and then you've got a week off and then you've got two weeks to so just focus on the ones that are before half term and then the rest of them you can focus on when it's half term because you've got a week yet and you just need to like break it down like I broke it all down into how many hours I had to sit in school for because I wanted to leave that much now I'm just going to use the sleek solstice highlighting palette to use the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Child Style and then over the top of that once it's dried in, I'm just going to use the Rimmel Oh My Gloss in Per Glossy Cap. But yeah, it's like, I know some people get more chill than others because some people can do exams like I can. And if you told me to do a presentation, I would literally be like, wanting to be sick, nurse and I'm being watched. So you just basically got to take it all in your stride and it will be fine, I promise you. So... That is my finished makeup look. So I'm going to run this video here. Best of luck if you do have any exams. And I know this is a really, really random video, but I just kind of wanted to film it and upload. I might even edit it on my iPad now while I'm in the car. But I feel like it was needed. And I will be back with a more normal video on Friday. But if you have liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.